Hello Lithio, Terralution23 here, and today we have VGC Thursdays. It's one of the many new um, video series that we're going to be doing here on the Lithio channel, and today I got lucky enough to do VGC with you guys. So, um, essentially what we're going to do here with this series is that we're going to dive into the world of VGC. So for those of you guys who don't know, that is the official uh, battling format for the video game championship held by the actual Pokemon company. Um, so, first things first is to go over the rulings before we even go into anything else. Um, the championship series events um, will be using X and Y for the rest of the year, um, aka until December 31st, and then they're going to jump into the ORAS uh, gameplay. Now they're not going to give out the rules for until like probably another week or two, so we're just going to be doing this series at least for the first two episodes, um, just with the X and Y rules in mind. And when the ORAS rules come out, I'll update you guys on what those are. So what are the Pokemon X and Pokemon Y rules for the year? So, what that means is that players um, can only use Pokemon from their Kalos decks, so the Central, Coastal, and Mountain Kalos decks. Um, in the rules it says uh, Pokemon are allowed to Mega Evolve, they're allowed to have their hidden abilities that are acquired within game, and um, items. The only items that can be used are the ones that can also be found in game. So essentially, it's anything that doesn't have to do with Pokebank or power saves. Because I know you people out there use those. I mean, I'm a little guilty. I'm guilty of using a uh, Pokebank. So anyway, the allowed Pokemon are shown on um, Smogon. If you just look up uh, VGC 2014 um, acceptable Pokemon or something like that they will give you a list of all the Pokemon. There is also a option when you go to Showdown, when you're building a team, and a team builder, uh, this is a team we're gonna be trying out today, but if you go here and go to Format, if you scroll down you see VGC 2014, oh, you don't see it on there, but you're gonna have to take my word for it, it's right there. Um, and then if, if you pick that format, then you can only go through Pokemon that are VGC legal. Also, um, if you do set up a group, a team, and you pick your form up up here to be VGC 2014, and you look for battle, um, it'll check your team to make sure it's VGC 2014 legal. So that's another backup, uh, another check that they do. So for this episode, we're going to be using one of my favorite teams for uh, that I like to use in VGC. And as you saw already, it's a uh, Trick Room team. Um, and I'd like to thank Ryan, uh, our, our Hunter Ryan, that's his sort of name, uh, for showing me the wonders of Trick Room. Uh, ever since I played him a couple of months ago with this battle style, I just absolutely fell in love with it. Because it really uses a lot of Pokemon who usually aren't, you know, used often. And that's mostly because they're so slow. Now, for this... Uh, team, I have a couple of Pokemon that you probably have seen before, you know, Mawile, um, but then you jump into Pete Pokemon that you probably have never thought about using, like Aromatiz, Drudigan, um, it doesn't scroll down any further, oh god, oh, I know, haha, it's gonna look weird, no it's not, okay, never mind, um, <laughs> use that formatting. It's kind of odd. Um, and Slow King, Amoongus, and Crawdont, which are down there, but for some reason it will let me scroll. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one individually, and then I'm just going to talk about them. So, Mawile, obviously, Mawile Knight, and the ability Intimidate. It has the ability of Hyper Cutter and Sheer Force, but because it's going to Mega Evolve, it doesn't really need these. So that's why the best thing to choose is Intimidate, especially in doubles, you can uh, reduce the attack of both of your opponent's Pokemon. Protect is a very standard and very useful move in doubles, particularly in VGC, because it really helps you try and like um, waste your opponent's turns. Especially if they try to double attack your one Mon and you use Protect, then they pretty much used up the turn while your partner Pokemon can actually do something. So if you, could let, if you know how to play around with your opponent's mind, it's a really useful move. And then you have the other staple Mawile sets, the uh, Play Rough, the Iron Head, and the Sucker Punch. I found that even though it is a very staple, it's very um, useful, it's, it's just a very good set. So 
because this is Trick Room, all my mons, all of them are going to be super bulky. Because they don't need to invest in speed like most uh, speedy attackers do. So instead, all my mons are going to have 20, 252 in HP and then 252 in something else. So because uh, Mawal is my physical attacker, it's uh, yeah, it's um, going to be max HP. And now that I think about it, this needs to be changed to here. Because it is Trick Room, you want to be as slow as possible. So all my mods are also going to have minus speeds. So instead of the normal adamant that you see, um, my mod's going to be brave. Which, let's see, that's not going to work. Uh, there we go, brave nature. Um, Aromatizzi is one of my supporters because the way I like to do Trick Room is to have three, uh, two or three setters, uh, three defensive Pokemon, and three offensive Pokemon. Um, so Aromatizzi is my one of my physical walls. It's going to have 252 in HP and having a base HP of 101. It's actually pretty high and really nice. Um, it's going to have then 252 in defense and it's going to be plus defense, uh, minus speed to give it a relaxed nature. And then just plus four in special attack because I do like to occasionally drop the uh, moon blast every now and then. So talking about that, I gave Aroma to the leftovers because it doesn't really have any reliable recovery on its own. And even though it's supposed to be supporting other Pokemon, I do need to have some sort of recovery on it or it's just going to die. Um, the ability healer is actually really nice, has a 30% chance of um, recovering an ally status. So a lot of people like to burn my Dredigan and my Mawile, but if I have Aroma Tizzy next to it, I just need to protect every so often and then I can get rid of that burn. Sometimes I'm really lucky and it just it get rid, so it gets rid of the burn at the end of the turn. Um, now I have Moonblast, Protect, again a nice uh, staple. Um, doubles move, Trick Room, and then Heal Pulse. It's this Heal Pulse is actually really nice because most people, when they see like Dredigan or Mawile, they tend to go after those, and I can always just Heal Pulse to try and recover one of them. So that's really nice. It's a really nice support Pokemon. This can replace Ar um, Aromatherapy, which is most people like to run on Aromatizzy or any other like support set. So I like to combo these two up. Alright, next I have Slowking. Slowking is an awesome specialty wall. That's why I have um, Aromatizzy and Slowking as dedicated walls for um, specialty defense and defense. And I have Citrus Berry um, because I like to run Belch for those pesky fairy types. And then Regenerator so um, he can switch out and heal some moves because he can't really heal himself um, otherwise. I have like Belch again for those uh, annoying little fairy types. Uh, Scald. Uh, for the burn, Toxic, um, in case I can't burn them, and Toxic's always just a good way to whittle people down, and then Trick Room. So I have, in this team, Aromatizzy and Slow King as my Trick Room users. And as uh, their spreads, I have 252 in HP and 252 in Specialty Defense. So plus here in Specialty Defense, minus Speed, gives them a sassy nature. Sass, sass, sass. <laughs> Alright, next. I have Amoongus. Amoongus is a very nice doubles Pokemon for multiple reasons. Namely, the two movesets right here. Rage Powder, which draws people's attention to it, and Spore, which puts people to sleep. Giga Drain is just a nice grass move, because I don't have any other grass moves on this team, and you have those uh, po uh, pesky mons who are just weak uh, to grass, I just really need that. And Clear Smog to try and stop any potential setups. I have Black Sludge because I need Recovery, and Regenerator because it just need to keep Amoongus alive as much as possible. Um, now for the setup, I have 252 in HP, and I have 52 in, um, oh, oh, excuse me, I have 152 in Defense, and I have 104 in Special Defense to be a mixed wall. So I have mainly Defense and um, minus Speed to give him a relaxed nature. Alright. My last mod is going to be Crawdon. This one is one I've the spot I've been juggling around the most. And I used to have um, Clotzer with, uh, what was it, Choice Specs. But I found that a Choice Specs was a little bit limiting because even though that gave it crazy attack power, I was stuck on that one move. And I couldn't really switch it in, switch it out as, as freely as I wanted to, um, which is why I have that. 
Now, for Crawdon, I have Focus Sash because rocks and entry hazards aren't that common in doubles, um, so it's more viable to run a Focus Sash set. I have adaptability because it's uh, it's Crawdon. <laughs> what else would you run? Um, then I have Crab Hammer, um, which is a nice stab attack, base 100 power, really strong. Uh, Aqua Jet for priority, protect, and then knock off because knock off is an awesome move, especially with adaptability. And it's just really nice to knock off um, anything really. Now for uh, for the spreads. I have 252 in HP and 252 in attacking and minus in speed to give it again brave nature. Now I know what you're thinking, all my supposedly sweepers are physical attackers, Terran what are you doing? Well I've actually seen that you, have, you tend to have Pokemon like Blissey, Chansey in doubles and those mods really annoy me. You don't really tend to see many other physical attackers and any physical attackers you really see tend to be like rock types or like uh, steel types or something like that which can be taken care of like by my other mons. I haven't really seen that much of a need to really defend against steel types which is why I don't really have a fire type move on this team um, but from what I've seen it, it has been helpful the way I have it set up now. So that's why I mainly have physical attackers. Um, Let's see, I believe that's everything for my team, and with that being said, I'd like to try out this team with you guys, and just talk about um, what you really need to look for in uh, doubles battles, especially in VGC. Now something else you also probably need to remember is that in VGC, you do bring 6 Pokemon to a battle, but you only use 4 at a time. So um, it's also that's also a way you can play mind games, I've seen some people like always bring like a a slow bro or something like two mons that really are threatening the people really, really their eyes really dark to them but then have their actual team the other four just to really throw them off so i've seen like strat strategies like that and sometimes it works sometimes it's not it really depends on how you really want to play so i'm gonna get into a battle so vgc 2014 and with my trick room team and we're gonna see how it goes um we're going to i'm going to be accepting other ideas for VGC teams later on. So if you want to like try out a team and want to see it being tried out here, um, please feel free to like put it in the comment section below. I'm also going to be putting all the um, rules and anything else I may have missed in this introductory kind of like training video for VGC in the description below. Um, and if I do forget anything else after that, <laughs> I'm going to try and remember it in the next video. So perfect, perfect timing. All right, so we have Trevenant. We have Florgus, we have a Venusaur, we have a Pyroar, we have, oh my gosh, I've, I have Leopard and Aegislash. Well, I'm predicting Aegislash should be on this team. If Aegislash is on this team, that's the only real, like, worry I have a ro for Aromatizzi. I like to really start with Aromatizzi and Drudigan because no one ever really sees that, but <sighs> two grass types, he's not going to be very useful. Neither are these two. So I want to bring Mawile. Which one out of these two, though? Oh my gosh. Belch? No, that's not going to work. Um, Skull? Toxic, maybe? No. Spore is going to work on Aegislash, so I'm going to bring a Moongus. Oh, good luck and have fun. Good luck and have fun. Always oh, got to be courteous. Okay. So, Leopard. Ooh, Leopard and Florgus. Um, I see a Moonblast coming Drudigan's way. But Drudigan, Drudigan can survive and stab Ice Beam from a Life Orb Greninja. I mean, it's going to end up in like red, but <laughs> it can still survive it. So I'm not too worried unless they double attack me. And I know he's probably going to try and like do something to my Aromatizzi. I'm going to protect with Aromatizzi. And I'm going to... What am I going to do? I want to... Should I Iron Tail? Oh, I didn't go over the moveset for uh, Drudigan. Whoops. Um, or actually, didn't go over Drudigan at all. Sorry. It has Life Orb, Crunch, Iron Tail, Rock Slide, and Protect. Um, all moves that uh, go with its sheer force ability. And shoot, I gotta pick something. Ah! Rock Slide. Um, so it always makes it... Uh, oh, I should have... I should have seen that. Okay. 
Um, well, that didn't work. I could have done Trick Room. Let's see Trick Room and Protect. Because uh, it's probably going to... No! Wait. I don't remember what happens here. Oh, it does Protect. Oh, darn. Encore Protect. Really? Oh no! Encore Leopard. I didn't think about that. That's actually really good. I'm gonna have to double switch out. Because he's just gonna encore my mom. That's unfortunate. Alright. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Encore. And then Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, alright. Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, how do you deal with Rage Powder and play rough? Watch him do something. Protect on Florigus. Ha! U turn. Oh no! U turn. Well, something is about to get a play rough. Unless it's Pyro or, or Aegislash, they're kind of screwed. <laughs> Now, Aegislash isn't that quick, so I think Amoongus might be able- oh, well, I'm I'm super slow, that's right. Um, I might be able to spore it, but I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna go. See, that Encore and Leopard really threw me off. I haven't seen Leopard in a really long time. It's actually really cool. Oh, Trevenant. That's okay. <laughs> that's really okay. It must be a specialty attacker. Oh, it must be- it must have- I don't know why he brought Trevenant. Well, Trevenant's down. I wonder who he's gonna bring. Hmm. If he brought Aegislash, Aegislash would be the Aegislash or Pyro would be the best thing to bring in right now, because especially Pyro, because Fire knocks out both of my mods. But the fact that he's taking or she, I can't tell, um, is taking forever. No, Leopard. I am not going to fall for that, sir. I'm not going to fall for that, sir. Fake out? It's going to fake out. Oh, protect. I know, because then he's going to try and encore that. Oh. Well, you suck. So what am I going to do? 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 Let's go into Moonblast. Oop, wait. No, that was for Moongus. Uh, Rage Powder, and then switch to Aromatis? Yeah, let's do that. Because Sleep Hearts are going to keep freaking encoring, which is super annoying, but you can kind of like play around it because you don't know. He's going to be way too tempted. Oh, Venusaur. He's going to be way too tempted to, uh. Oh, it protected. Well,. That's fine. All Amoongus is really there for is to uh, Rage Powder anyway, so... Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Alright. I don't care. Rage Powder. Moon Blast. Kill it with fire! So, it has... Florgus, Venusaur, Leopard... And <laughs> Wait, what? I did Rage Powder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did Rage Powder. What? Rage Powder? Does, oh, it's a powder and it doesn't work on grass to, on poison. To, that's true. Hmm. It mega evolved. It protected. Why would it protect? What does it think I have for it? Flower shield. Ha! <laughs> I don't think he knew it worked on me. And now it's asleep because of it. Hmm. I'm curious. What am I going to do now? I can clear smog. I can get your... Oh, I can get your drain. Assuming something's going to come in. And I can go to Mawile. Assuming it's going to sludge bomb me. Let's do that. I don't think- yeah, he definitely didn't think- HA! Didn't work. Yeah, he definitely didn't think that was gonna happen. Um... 
Hmm. Oh, you know something? Wait, who's quicker? 48, 45, and 62. Oh no, that's not Nord. Alright, clear smog. And... What to do? What am I going to do? I want an iron head, but I can feel like it's going to... I'm gonna iron head four gets and just get rid of it. Yeah, it's gonna protect. Okay, good. Iron head killed it. Oh, but now clear smog didn't work. Okay, so uh, iron head, iron head, iron head, iron head. Hmm. I'm gonna rage powder. I'm gonna play rough. Why do I forget it has that? Jesus, man. Okay, well, that didn't do anything. That's fine. I'm just going to keep rage powdering. Because I know it doesn't work on, um... On Venusaur, but all he has left is Leopard and Venusaur. And I still have all three, all four of my mods. See, I didn't even have to use Trick Room this turn. Oh, Protect? Well, that's fine. Synthesis. That's fine. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. Clear smog on Venusaur, because so I want to get rid of that defense for when Mawile gets to come in. I'm gonna play rough. Because he can't do anything else, right? He can't foul play me. Well, he can, but it won't do as much as he, he would probably hope. Unless he double attacks the Mawile, which then could be a problem. <laughs> he. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I. I got this. I. Oh. It's <laughs> sashed. That's right, I've never hit it. Alright, well... Now what? Now what? Now what? How much did Giga Drain do? Giga Drain did... 29% last time. I'm at 25. Well, 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 well. Alright, well, I'm gonna clear smog the Leopard. And I'm gonna sucker punch the Venusaur. Do some more damage before it kills me. Yeah, it's gonna double attack the Mawa. Let's figure it. Oh! <gasps> I survived! What? What? <laughs> I... That must have been a high roll that last time. It must have been a low roll this time. Well, I can't spore and I can't rage powder it. I'm just gonna keep... That... That? I guess? Oh, wait. You know what I can do? Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let me bring back... Let me bring Drud again, because it's going to go after Mawile. Then I'm going to suck a punch. Do I want to suck a punch? Oh, no, 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 no. Aroma Tizzy, then suck a punch it. It failed, because it's going to do synthesis, right? Right, right? Yes! Okay, so, this is what I'm thinking. It can't attack both of us. It's either going to have to try and attack Aroma Tiz, or try and attack Mawile. I'm going to heal Pulse... Mawile. Oh, but if it kills Mawile. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Trick Room. Sucker Punch. Right? No. Trick Room Protect? No. Trick Room. Trick Room. Trick Room. Sucker Punch. Yes. That's what I want to do. Trick Room Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch will get, keep giving it pressure. If he goes after Aroma T I still attack with Mawile. I still have another turn to use Sucker Punch next time. If he goes after Aromatiz, or Mawile, Aromatiz would be able to pull off Trick Room, and then Drudigan will be able to come in and help sweep. And then if Trick Room is active, then both of my Mons will go before Venusaur, giving me a really good chance to... Oh, oops. Yeah, alright, so it's going to attack something. What is it going to attack? Sludge Bomb? Aromatiz. Okay, that's fine. Dragon, Dragon, Dragon. What, are, what is Dragon gonna do? I think I'm gonna crunch. I'm gonna Iron Head. Oh, it's gonna protect. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. I didn't waste Sucker Punch. So I'm gonna crunch again. And I'm going to Sucker Punch. It failed. Synthesis. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Crunch and let's iron head. <laughs> really? 
Why didn't you go after Mawile? Oh, well, GG. That works. <laughs> um, yay! My team won! He didn't bring the two Pokemon who I were really going to be threatening my team. So this is not really a good example of how good my team can really be. But, uh, yay! We won! Alright, we're going to try again. So everything that I've mentioned, everything I've talked about, is really what you really got to think about when you're doing um, VGC. You really got to try and think about what is your opponent going to do, who did your opponent really bring, how are you going to play around it. And it's really good to try and like understand um, common sets. Uh, so this, hmm, whoa. Oh, here you go. This is kind of like what I was talking about before. This person brought three potential weather teams trying to fake me out. He has two electric types, so something tells me water is going to be in there. I see no real support for sand, and I can, and sun just, you know, just Charizard, it's just crazy. So, wow, he has a lot of, alright, well, I'm going to go with Aromatizzi again, because Aromatizzi is just a good guy. Um, two electric types don't make me want to, I want to be Dread again, Dread again? No, Mawile. And then I'm going to bring... I actually want to bring Slowking. And I'm going to bring... Dreadigan. <coughs> Two fairy types. Minetric. What? Balloon. So he's not the Mega. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this before. So, Trick Room, Mega Evolve, hmm, probably gonna be Double Volt Switch. Play Rough? No, Sucker Punch. So, Trick Room, Mega Evolve, Sucker Punch. Who am I gonna Sucker Punch? Raichu, he has lower defense. Ooh, ouch. Flamethrower. Ah! Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Yay, check room. Okay. <laughs> King's gone. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I see a fake out coming on. So, I'm going to heal pulse and protect. Shoot, actually, you know something? I don't remember if, uh... Oh, well, we're going to find out. I don't remember. I don't know if heal pulse goes past protect. I don't remember. Yeah, okay, fake out your ass. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, never mind. Ha ha ha! I should have just went for Moonblast. Um, that being said, I am going to heal Pulse, Mawile, and Iron. Nope, nope, nope. Heal Pulse, Mawile, play rough, Manetric. Come on, come on, come on. King of Skunk can't do crap. King of Skunk can't do crap. My aromatism can survive a return from Mega King of Skunk. Not by much, but it can, which is amazing. No! I missed! See? See, did it fine. Did it fine, Flamethrower. Shoot. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. I sense a sucker punch coming along. So, what I'm actually gonna do. What am I going to do? He's not going to expect a moon blast. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to play rough. Ha! Punk. Yay. Yeah, it's dead. Now what did he do? What are you going to do? He's probably going to do another return. Power punch. Really? It's trick room. It's trick room! <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I wonder if he's going to suspect... I'm gonna heal pulse. And I'm gonna sucker punch. Because he's probably gonna sucker punch me. Yeah, alright. Heal pulse. Heart your pump. Arr! Yeah. And trick room is over. Let's see, he had Fake Out, Power Up Punch, Return. What other moves did this guy have? This is the awesome thing about Showdown. 
that you can do this, but you can't do this under normal situations. Um, I'm going to, since this is his last mod, oh, you know something I'm going to do? I'm going to trick room, right, because trick room's not up, I'm going to switch to dread again. Yeah, I'm going to switch to dread again. And we're going to find out if you have sucker punch or not. Power punch. Ooh, that's scary. Alright, trick room. Oh. Son of a... Alright, well... I kind of... I want to... I know Politoed can't do crap to Mawile. I, but I need to get rid of... Kangaskhan, like, now. Right now. Oh, I don't have Intimidate. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, actually, no, that turned out fine, because I'm Trick Room, and now I'm faster. So, that being said, I'm going to Toxic it, and I'm going to Play Rough. Play Rough. Play Rough. Toxic. Play Rough. Alright, well, that worked. Yay for Trick Room! I won the battle. Okay. Uh, let's do one more battle. Let's do one more battle. Show you the glory of Trick Room. Okay. Um, still a good way to do Trick Room. I'm just worried about this because it's not that quick. But I'm pretty sure I'm just quick in general. But I have three, <laughs> three weaknesses to fairy. So how many physical attackers? We have one, two, three... Okay, so it's actually pretty evenly spread. Um, I don't want to bring a Moongus, so I think I'm going to bring these four again. But I think I'm going to start off with Aromatizzy and Jodigan. And do... I wanted to use... See, Crawdon is just like that Mon that is good, nice to have. But it's like these five that are really nice. Um, <sighs> I don't know what to bring. I want to bring a Moongus. Because no, well, uh, that's the best thing. So I have a weird suspicion that it's a fire. So that being said, I'm just gonna go straight trick room, rock slide. It's probably not gonna suspect a rock slide from a Drudigan. It's probably expecting the physical set. Heat wave. Ha! I'm gonna survive it. Ha! I'm gonna survive it. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Iron head. Well, that's unfortunate. Rock slide, killed it. Eh, aroma tizzy for, uh, for, uh, uh, for that thing. Um, shoot. Shoot. Crud, 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 crud. Um, hmm. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Hmm. I'm gonna switch out to Mawile to try and reduce the attack, and I'm going to try and protect to because of Willow. Let's see. I reduce. No, competitive. What am I thinking? What was I thinking, guys? I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, fake out. But still, what was I thinking? Knock off. No. No. Crap. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to Mega Evolve. I really just have to, like, not try and, like, kill it. Crap! That's really unfortunate. Interesting. Lewis. Yay! Oh, it went after Mawile. Really? Rock slide. Okay. I need to try and, like, double attack this thing. It's gonna Will O Wisp. I'm gonna protect. And I'm gonna crunch. Protect. Willowis. No! Why? You were. Why? You were iron heading the. Uh, Willowis. Oh my gosh. That really messed me up. I think I'm gonna lose. Uh... Man. 
I got nothing for uh, this guy, except for Mawile, but is that plus one, which is unfortunate. Shit, I don't know what to do, guys. Crunch. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. That messed me up, guys. Yeah, like, no idea. I mean, we're even, but I'm not in very good shape at all. So <laughs> They're both gonna try and attack my. They're both gonna try and attack it. Rockside. Rockside. Yeah, they're... he's gonna attack. No, he's gonna attack. Knock off. Yep. I lost this one because I wasn't thinking, guys. Never, ever use an Intimidate Pokemon when there's a Bishop around. Now you know. Yep. GG, sir. GG. So, it's not that bad. I got. It's a 2 1. 2 1's not bad. So. Um, yeah, never think you're overpowered, because then you forget things. <laughs> and word, word from the wise. Alright, well, that happened. See, I'd like to try and figure out a way to, uh, something more useful than Crawdon, but I'm going to think about that. If you guys have any suggestions, I'd like to hear that in the comment section below. But I would like to thank you guys for tuning in today and watching our first VGC matchups um, and the first VGC tryouts on uh, Showdown. Um, I think we're going to have another X and Y maybe for the next two episodes because this is going to be a weekly thing. And with that being said, these teams are, these teams are really going to be um, switching around often. So I did Trick Room this time. Most likely next time I'm going to be doing um, another type. I think I already have it in mind, but it's going to be a surprise. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for teams, leave them in the comment section below or find us on Twitter at Lithio Region. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Oops. This way. Ha ha. I uh, tearing fingers.